Good afternoon. Welcome to another fun-filled, action-packed adventure in the world of streaming. Today I've got my wife's Roku hooked up and not my Apple TV. you got the Apple TV over here and the Roku's over there. It's kind of sneaking away. Come back. Come back. There you go. Okay. Today we're going to see summer streaming on Roku. They have different categories. You go to the left or you hit the home page and you can go over and these are your apps that you'll see on a Roku. You can rearrange them if you want to. YouTube's the most popular app in streaming, not Netflix. Just a little information and it's free. It's not YouTube TV, it's you just YouTube and it's free. You have the home, you have live TV, which has the Roku live TV channel. And it gives you an idea. Film Rise is free. Mr. Beast is free. ABC News. There's just different things you can get on Roku, the advantage of having it. Now, we know we pay for these guys. Okay? <sighs> what to watch on Roku. Gives you some ideas. That's on Disney+. Plus. This one, three seasons. It doesn't say what it's on, but if you click on it, Roku Channel. Roku Channel is exclusive to Roku. Probably not available to a lot of other players. I certainly can't get it on my Apple TV because that's the competition. Apple likes their stuff. Roku gets their stuff. But you do get Apple TV, regular Apple TV that you pay for. And you get some great shows on that. With, you can put it on your Roku, your Amazon, your Google Chromecast. That is available. And it is one of my big eight streaming services. If you haven't heard, we've got Hulu's one, which we, is mixed with Disney right now. And a lot of people are just getting the bundle, saving a little Monday money. And Disney Plus now has Hulu built in, so you can have both services on one app. And that's what the future will be. So number two, Disney with a sneaking of Hulu is three, Amazon four, Paramount five, Mac 6, Netflix 7, and we did Apple, and Peacock is 8, and the Olympics are on Peacock, and they have good deals right now. I check and see if you can get a year cheap. That would be great just to have Peacock at a really super cheap price. I think it was like 20 bucks for the whole year. I was like, that's incredible, because they want you to tune in to the Olympics, lots of NBC commercials, blah, blah, blah. If you watch the CW Network, that's a free app, CW. Other apps that are free that are hot, Tubi, Pluto, Freebie. The ABC app has become a great source of free streaming. And a lot of their shows pop up about a week later on this app for free. So why get Hulu, which has ABC? You can wait a week and watch it on the ABC app. Weather Network's a network where I'm looking at. Fox Weather's good. Spotify, I have Spotify, so we like to listen to music sometimes when we're getting dinner ready. Haystack News, great local and world news. And we're near Tampa, so we can watch Tampa like that. But today we're talking about, you go to home, and it goes up, and you go down to the side, featured free, summer streaming. What has Roku got for summer streaming? This is the advantage of having Roku. It gives you these ca great categories if you're curious, what should I look at? And you don't mind, Despicable Me, free. Watch now on Peacock. Sign up for Sling and get it. Spectrum. They got ads, ads, ads. Sign in with your Spectrum. Sign in or subscribe to True TV. Pay for it on Prime Video if you, do, you have to pay for it. Pay for it on Apple. Apple, Google, and your friends on Amazon will rent or let you buy movies. And YouTube is the source for Google to buy or rent things. You can watch free on Peacock if you had gotten Peacock. But see, they get you in, they show you all these great things you can get, and they'll help you subscribe because Roku gets a cut if they sell you the subscription through their service. Same as Amazon, same as Apple. If you have an iPhone and you subscribe to something, a lot of times it goes. it's an app, Apple gets a cut. If it's on the website, they get to keep all the money. 
So that's the trick. If new movie with Ryan Reynolds, you're like, oh great. Spectrum, sign in or subscribe, what's that all about? Pay for it, Prime Video. And of course with Apple and YouTube, you could pay for it. So summer streaming is a great category they've added this year. Great movies, you know you gotta pay or rent that one. Ready Player One, you probably can watch it somewhere. Ferocious News, so that you get to rent and pay, most likely. All these great movies are there, you just have to check them out and see if it's something you're subscribing to already and get it free, or it's something you might want to subscribe to in the future and then watch it. Free on Roku channel. The Roku channel is a great thing to have. If you get a Roku player or a Roku stick, this is a Roku Ultra. It's got a better processor, there's less spinning of the little circle so that things happen a little quicker. We have a router very nearby, so I've got that advantage. And the trick is to keep it up high in the air, keep it in the center of the house so you can give everybody coverage. And we're back, technically the router's at the front of the house, but ideally if you could pull it off, if you like doing stuff out in the back of the house, you'd have it closer to the back than the front. But, you know, usually you don't get a big choice on that. You know, it, they stick it where they stick it, but you can get it higher. You can get a sh bookshelf, you can something to get it up there to really let it broadcast out and try to keep it away from walls as much as possible. Have an open spot if you can. It's not always possible. No metal framing between it. That would be bad. These are free on the Roku channel. It's its own little app. And these are all these great movies you've heard of. These aren't some wild movies you're like, I haven't heard of any of these guys. Summer TV releases, House of the Dragon. Most of you know that'll be on Max only, okay? And you are paying for Max. Just came out, new season. Great show, almost just as good as Game of Thrones, which is one of the number one shows ever made. The Bear is a great show. Oh, on Hulu. So, <laughs> Paramount Plus, see it's got a little logo there and it's got a little dollar sign. It's not going to be free. you got to get Paramount. Snowpiercer, I think that's on AMC or MGM Plus. Ghost. All of these shows that have got new releases in the summer, they let you know about it. Disney's got The Little Mermaid. You can buy it from some sources or you can watch it free on Disney Plus. There's SpongeBob. He should be on Paramount. Seaside Cinema. So you got all these ocean-based things for the summer. Jaws, the classic. Can't beat Jaws. We're going to get to see it free. Sure, we can watch it free on Peacock. We've got all that Olympic coverage. You can buy it from Apple. Fandango will let you buy it. But it gives you the source. If you've got the itch to see something, you go to your summer streaming and look at all this great stuff. Surviving Summer, The Pirates of the Caribbean, Treasure Island with the Muppets, The Goonies, Journey 2, all these great things. They're giving you the opportunity, Fun in the Sun, Back to the Future 3. There's John Carter, The Mummy was great because it took place in the desert sun. Get it? Okay. Teen Throwback Movies. Sunkiss, Anyone But You, I think that's on Netflix right now, but you can buy it or rent it, I'm sure. Challengers is new, Titanic's classic, 51st Dates is really funny. Love 51st Dates. My wife loves Wind Calls the Heart, she loves that show. Australia the, is a great movie, and then they redid it on Hulu, I believe where they did a TV version of it, where they had episodes, and they added new footage, a touch of new footage, and probably drone shots of Australia to make it pretty, and then cut scenes. And we watched that, that was great. Dirty Dancing, my wife loves that movie. Thumb and Louise is great, A Walk to Remember is great. Grease is wonderful. Family Vacant, look, there's Lilo and Stitch. Watch Lilo and Stitch. I'm sure it's on the Disney. 
yep, watch now on Disney, can rent or buy. All these guys have it. Most likely these are rental prices. Push the back button and you go back to where you were. Iron Giant's amazing. Live TV. I want live TV. That's all I hear about you cord cutters. I want my live TV. Well, if you get YouTube TV, you're paying about 80 bucks a month to get a lot of cable-like experience. But everything now is on demand. It's like watch it, pause it, leave, go somewhere, come back, next day, pick up where you left off. That's the future of streaming. If you're a cord cutter, you want to save some money, get a Roku, get a Fire Stick, get an Apple TV device, get just start with Netflix give it a try you don't have to cancel just try Netflix out start watching shows on demand and hitting the pause button and I know some of those live TV things pause too and they do record and all that stuff but most for the price 80 bucks get rid of it get two or three streaming services rotate them out every two months skip boom go back to it again Learn the tricks of the trade. Netflix has the ad version, which does not include every single show and movie that any one but you movie was locked out. We just had Netflix with the ad version. But the great trick is the next time you get it with no ads, and you can watch any one but new any any one but you, and all the stuff that was locked out last time. So you save money, and then if you skip a month, you save on that month. And when you add it all up, you're like, oh my gosh, I'm getting half price, regular price, no price. And repeat, because you're not going to watch all that stuff. You know, if you get the ad version, watch all you can. Because I've heard people online say, I can't find anything to watch on Netflix. I'm like, then just get rid of Netflix. Wait a month or two and get it again. And then you'll have stuff to watch. Easy. You just have to fall out of the trap of, you know, the hit new shows coming out. I've got to watch it. Now we're going to pace ourselves with House of the Dragon. Where did it go? Anyone but you. Where did House? There it is. House of the Dragon. It's already started. This is the 5th of July. We just watched the fireworks and stuff. House of the Dragon has started. Second season. I'm sure it's wonderful. It's on max. We're going to get Max on the 15th. I've got a great app called Next Episode, and it, we keep track of a lot of our shows that way, as long as they're U.S.-based shows. Sometimes an Australian show or English show that premieres there will not get the same release date in America, but it'll say on the app, it released. And I'm like, oh, great. Where is it? Where's the next season of Ghosts? And it's not out in the United States. It was on Paramount, but... They have a U.S. version of Ghost that's out that keeps track. But the British version has wrapped up all their seasons. But I've only, we've only gotten to see two seasons on Paramount right now without paying for it or renting it or buying it or all that stuff. And we'll pace ourselves. We'll find it. It'll get on Paramount eventually. But House of the Dragon, we're going to get Max around the 15th, catch up on the episodes, and then watch the last few episodes for that month and still have a week to spare. And then I only have to rent Max for one month. That's the way you do it. Save money. Get rid of those live things, unless you're super into sports, but the um, Arena Sports Network is coming this fall, unless FUBU gets it, which is like YouTube TV, but they focus on sports. And they'll probably go out of business if Arena Sports comes out this fall. So don't get a year's worth of FUBU right now. Just pace yourself, wait in the fall, see if Arena Sports shows up with everything you want. Because they're supposed to be mixing some ESPN, some Fox stuff, some, what is it, Warner Brothers, I think, stuff. So they have access to their stuff. Everyone's got sport rights to sports stuff, and they're trying to mix it in a little bit with this Arena thing and charge less, the idea is charge less than YouTube TV or FUBU and Arena Sports would take over as one of the giant sports apps to ha must have. And some of you just get YouTube TV during the football season or the baseball season or whatever. That's great. Or get an antenna. 
If you can bring it in free on the antenna, you're great, you're golden. Sometimes YouTube even has an illegal version of games playing it while it's happening. People filming in the audience or rebroadcasting. Not that I'll, you should do that. I never said that. I'm just saying sometimes you see that. It's awful. Bad. Right. Cool. So when it works. <sighs> so that's how we're doing Max. We're going to have it the 15th. I have it rotated every two months anyway. And this was the month, but I'm delaying it two, a couple weeks so we can get the whole thing in with House of the Dragon. And then catch up on, on some of the other stuff. There's Captain America. That's on Disney. That was a good movie. Well, look what we got here. Live, coming soon to theaters. You got some clips, some great trailers. There's Deadpool Wolverine. Everyone's got to see that, all right? Anywhere sweepstakes. Oh, they're giving something a chance to win something. So if you're going to get a different device, a Fire TV, that's fine. I'm just showing you what's available on Roku. They've got their own little universe sometimes. And give you a little bit of sports, live sports. See what you can get live. Peacock has some live sports, and especially the Olympics when that comes out. Hulu does not have a lot of live stuff because they're trying to sell you Hulu plus live TV, which is like YouTube TV, but, and also expensive. So they don't have a lot of live stuff. They have a little, but Max has some live stuff. Paramount's got a lot of live stuff. But you have to get, to get most of it, you have to get Paramount with Showtime. It's like Netflix has ads and they lock you out and then you could also get it with no ads and get everything that's available that month. Sling is a live service that's not as expensive as YouTube TV, but if it doesn't have all the sports stuff you want, you know, there are a few network channels on Sling, but sometimes they get yanked away from Sling, YouTube pays more money, so they charge more, so they get a lot of the more network stuff and the more sports stuff. You can pay for ESPN or you can merge it with a bundle with Disney, Hulu, and ESPN. But I wouldn't get a year's worth because we got to see what arena sports is going to look like this fall. Oh, look. App for the Olympics. That's cool. NBC Sports. So I hope you enjoyed this. Like and subscribe if you did. And I'll see you again next time. And this Roku is the number one player that people grab. If you get a stick, you get a box, whatever, at least get something that says 4K and isn't the cheapest one. Unless you just, you're just getting started and you've got to try it out and you've got to do what you've got to do. That's fine. Get a fire stick, get whatever. But get the 4K version of everything, even without a 4K TV. It's got a better processor, so it'll give you a little more umph, okay? Because you need umphs. The Paramount Plus app is notorious for not running on a lot of systems that don't have the umph. And some apps are like that. As they get older, they'll say, this is not supported anymore. Our old, old Roku, actually, the whole screen just went, this no longer supports Netflix. You have to get a newer model. And I was like, oh, okay. And that's why getting these boxes are great. Because for the price you pay, you don't have to go buy a new TV. Some of these smart TVs is a great way to start streaming. Get Netflix on your TV and enjoy it until it gets kind of slow and jangy. And you're like, I think I could do better with a box or a Fire Stick or a Roku. And get that after it gets a little slow. If it's a brand new TV, you can start with the brand new TV's version of Netflix and get the top eight services and start your cord cutting that way. Okay, again, see you again. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe.